Hey, how's it going? This is Brian with In Effect Hardcore. We're here with Mike Gallo from Agnostic Front. What's up? What's up, Mike? What's going on? Mike, this is the last date, the three-day Florida run for the band. When you when you find out that you're coming back down here to Florida, what, what do you what do you look forward to? We always to come down, down here, you know, it's like Roger's family's down here. So it's pretty cool. We always get to see them every year and uh you know, I mean, it's Florida. It's always good for us, you know? We have so many friends here, so it's like a little cool getaway we always get to do, you know? No, I live, I moved down here like 12 years ago. I've been down here ever since. Yeah, Florida's cool. It's affordable. Yeah. You know? no, I was just back in New York. It's hey, don't get cold. Not yeah, really. that's true. Yep. So cool. Hey, see, so I heard you guys are working on a new album. You got any, yeah. uh, you got any juice for me over here with that? Uh, you know, yeah. we're slowly getting it there. Yeah. I'd say we have definitely more than a half a record worth of material. So we're ha we're about halfway through. You know, right. just, um, so, I'm not sure when we're gonna record. Yeah. Uh, but I would imagine yeah. before the end of the year. So you don't you wouldn't even have no idea when that's even gonna come out. So oh we don't no, even, definitely next year sometime. Radar. Probably like mid. You know, next. I I'm not even sure. I guess like it's actually we we're supposed to do it a little earlier. I'm just not sure exactly when we're supposed to record. I'm not, we don't really know. It's kind of up in the air right now. But we're definitely we're on it. We're definitely writing songs, and so it's it should be recorded by the end of the year. Oh, that's awesome! And out definitely next year sometime. So one thing about AF is that you guys, over the course of all this time, every album is basically sounds different. Yeah. You know, if you think of Sun's Got to Give, from Warrior, Another Voice, you got metal, you got punk, you 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 you're always kind of pull something out different. You you, uh, you got any info that, what direction we're going this time? Or? It's hard to say. Yeah, I, I can't really say. It's a it's. I, you know, it, it does always have a different feels, but I always loved about Agnostic Front Records because you never know what you're going to get, you know? It's, sometimes, you know, I guess it all depends on, like, what we're listening to at the moment and, or just what comes out, you know? Like, you know, I don't think we ever be like, oh, we have to write something like this, we have to write something like that. We just write whatever comes to us. And if it's a little thrashy, some stuff's thrashy, we have some thrashy stuff. We definitely have a lot of thrashy stuff. Uh... You know, but it's, what's great about Agnostic Front is like we can touch on anything, you know, hardcore, punk, trash, like boy, whatever, you know, so we just can mix it up and just, um, you know, Garage's voice over it, it's just, you know, no mistake, it's, it's Agnostic Front, you know, so. That's awesome. So, we're here tonight at Churchill's Pub in Miami, Florida. We're celebrating 35 years from the victim of pain. Um, that's going digging real deep. I know you weren't on that line. No. But uh, <laughs> are you gonna are you playing the album in its entirety? I, I, I don't know. If, you know what? Have you done? Sometimes that? we do that, you know, and like sometimes it works, and sometimes it just doesn't. So we kind of like feel the crowd out. It's basically what we do. If we see everybody's into the older stuff, we'll play the older stuff. You know, if we say like, if we see like you can kind of tell they're like standing around, they don't really know it. Yeah. Then we'll, we'll we switch it up. You know, like all right, they want to hear because you know what we want to make the fans happy. They came out to see a show. They, you know what I mean. So you want get the people what they want. You yeah, know what I mean. After all, after thirty five years, you can probably read, know how to read a crowd. Can, by yeah, now. absolutely. <laughs> you know, that, that's Roger's uh, good at that. You know, and he always he'll always switch it up. He'll know what to throw in, what to take out. You know, and then we just work the set. You know, around how we're feeling on stage, like how the you know the audience is reacting. So, so when you're not touring with AF. What are you doing at home? You're, you know, you're working a job. No, uh, you know what? Uh, I was a barber for a little while, but I. Oh yeah, I think I, I remember that. Yeah. I was doing that, and uh, but I moved to Jersey around almost four years ago. Yeah. And I got married and had a baby, and I don't have a license in Jersey, so oh, I can't so do it there. So um, I actually started getting into doing art. And, uh, I did uh, as a kid, you know. Hence my next question. Okay. <laughs> so, go. so just go ahead. Um, Gal Originals. Yeah. What, yeah, what is it? What's going it's, on? You know what? I, I'll be honest with you. It's something that I started doing. I did art as a kid. Always did. You know what I mean? And then like as I got into the band, I kind of like stopped doing it. I went to college for it and I just dropped out of school. And I'm like, fuck this. I want to play in a hardcore band. And then I wound up getting an agnostic front. So it was like, I don't fucking know how it happened. It just did. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 
Uh, it just happened like that, which is pretty insane, but it did. And um, so when I moved back to Jersey, you know, I kind of needed, you know, I became like basically living in New York City. Then I'm a suburban dad now, so my life yeah. completely just changed, you know, and I needed something to do at home mm -hmm. to kind of keep myself busy. And then I started like doing records. I made a record for a friend of mine. Uh -huh. I gave it to him for his birthday, which is actually his birthday today. Is it? Happy and birthday. Uh, happy What's birthday, Tavi. Tavi, happy birthday. Uh, so uh, I gave it to him at his birthday, and he's like, I love this. And everybody saw it. I framed it. It was, you know, yeah. it wasn't all that. It was just a little bubble letter thing that I, I did. And I was like, yo, you sell those? I was like, yeah. So I was like, yeah, I sell them. Now I do, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I just, from there, I just started putting them online and getting orders. It built up to like I now. Like where it's I like, like the one with the skull AF one, I saw on the, or the website. It had AF, like, it was almost like a flag, but it had a little kind of white skull. Like, it was almost okay. like the old school Misfit skull that yes, Danzig I, had yes. on his old t shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I like that. Yeah, I like that. That cool. was my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I've been just doing a really, um, just doing a lot of it and just. I put 100% into it, and uh, that's basically my main gig now. So, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so you can check it out, galloriginals.com. And I got my site, I sell prints, original paintings, and uh, I do custom work. So if anybody wants something, you know, hit me up and I can, you know. Nice. All right, well, you hear that. Get, get some stuff from Gallo. Support Gallo, galloriginals.com. All right, so last thing, Godfather's a hardcore. All right, everybody's talking about it. You know what's up. You're already in like probably the one of the top three biggest names of hardcore, if not the biggest ever. You're already got a reputation. Like, how does this change it? I just, what I think is, what I loved about the film was like, you, in all honesty, you don't have to even be into the music to enjoy this film. You yeah, know what I mean? It's exactly. a really great film. And I think anybody who can like, Watch and get through it. If they, you know, yeah. it's a great film. It's filmed beautifully. I know. My wife doesn't you know? really. Oh, my wife doesn't really like hardcore. Uh huh. But two minutes of stigma on the roof, and you know, you're watching this. Yeah, show, you right? know, like you can just tell, like you know, how, like how genuine those guys are, you know, and how they did really do it from their heart. And yeah. it's an amazing story, you know. And it's great because now, I mean. Got picked up on Showtime, which is like insane, yeah. you know. So it's like so, exactly. pretty awesome. Do, do people like see you in the street now? I, <laughs> I was in the movie for two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> but, uh, well, no, not at all. No way. You know, I mean, you no. Know, maybe the name will become a little bit more popular, but I, you know, it is what it is. I guess. You know, right? I mean, you know what? It can't hurt. I mean, it's, it's a great film. It's great for the band. Yeah. And, you know, you know, their legacy will be. I like documented. The, I, I like the, I like so. that early stuff. That was like gold. Like the oh, eighty three. Yeah, they got all that old footage. It's amazing. Yeah, that's gold. So awesome. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Um, yeah, we got Mike Gallo again, Agnostic Front. I'm Brian with In Effect Hardcore. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Peace.